So in this video, I will actually be doing a lens recommendation video without recommending a specific lens. In other words, I will tell you how and why I believe an ultra wide lens generally is my money lens. So hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and would want to learn more about off-camera flash photography or maybe just photography in general, then this channel may be for you. So if you want, you could actually subscribe to the channel and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, if you want to see some of my images, you could also find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. So as I said in my intro, this is actually a video in which I am be talking about ultra wide lenses, but not really recommending a specific lens for you guys to purchase. In other words, I just want to show you how I use an ultra wide lens in order to create what I call my money shots. And at the same time, explain the little things that, you know, you might need to be able to, um, how do I put it? it? You might need to be able to master with regards to this lenses in order for you to be able to get those images. Now, the first thing that you have to consider whenever you're shooting an ult with an ultra wide lens is distortion. Actually, that's the only thing you really have to consider distortion. Because when shooting with an ultra wide lens, you are actually going to be, be distorting the edges of the images. So contrary to the rule of thirds, I actually like putting my, my subjects in the center of the frame in order for me to minimize my distortion on them actually. Well, for them to be in the center, I hardly have any distortion and I will actually be using distortion to my advantage to create leading lines to lead my viewers to whatever it is I want them to see. Now, I have to apologize in advance because when I show you the images, I will be referring to distortion so many times that you might just get sick of hearing me say distortion. But again, I just want to be able to stress on that point because shooting with ultra wide angle lenses, you are really gonna be prone to distortion. Even the slight camera angle will actually affect what type of distortion you're gonna get. Now, I, so I'll just go through it quickly. With an ultra wide angle lens, if you're shooting from above, Shooting down, you're actually gonna make your subject smaller. Shooting from below, you're gonna make them look taller. Of course, you have to be able to control your distortion when you're shooting from below because you don't want the legs to be too long that they look unnatural. And let me show you some images of what I actually mean. So you could see here in this image that here on the left and right side and here on the top right and top left, you could see a lot of distortion. I think I shot this with the 12 to 24 lens. The round tables already became oblong, but it also serves as a way for you to be able to frame the subjects who are here in the center. And as you notice, when they're here in the center, you hardly have any distortion. So everything will be leading towards them. And that's why I believe this ultra wide lens says, may it be just for shots like this one, will actually give me the money shots. These shots are the ones that they would want printed and hung on their wall. Now, there are two ways that I actually use it. One is to be able to capture a scene that's really big, or at the same time, I actually use it to make a scene look bigger than what it really is. Now, the problem with actually having, let's say, for example, an ultra wide lens indoor where I wanted to make the scene look bigger than normal, as you can see here, I actually distorted the edge already and the subject here or the person here was already distorted but of course the focus of, of, the, of the shot was a couple and this one could easily be fixed in post-production which I didn't for this, for this particular video so you guys can see what type of distortion happens when you put a subject very near to the edge of the frame when shooting with an ultra wide lens as compared to this person here. Now, this image was actually shot just in the side of the road, very, very small space, and that's why I brought out my ultra wide lens. You could see that I actually shot it lower than normal to give them a bit of height, and at the same time, I shot it ultra wide to be able to make the space look bigger, because the point of this image was we wanted to get the orange leaves, and this was the only area we found that had a good amount of orange leaves, so we had to make do with that, and it, it was perfect that the sun was here. Of course, I had a flash coming 
coming from here but as you can see the edges here are already distorted but they are all pointing towards the subject which is what i really like when you know how to use an ultra wide lens then this image is a total opposite of the previous image this image was so big in other words we were shooting in a lake and it was very it was well technically it was just wide um, and for me to shoot an ultra wide lens there one of the things that you have to consider which i've seen in a lot of ultra wide shots with people involved is that the people are so tiny that you can't even see who they are when you're shooting with an ultra wide lens for me personally just make sure that the subject is still not lost in your frame in this case i don't mind shooting ultra wide in a really in a really wide or a really big space because there was nothing there in other words the focus was just on them and we just had beautiful clouds that wasn't pulling focus from this from the subjects okay here's another example of distortion that is actually acceptable in other words i shot them inside a car of course i put a flash inside here to be able to illuminate them but i actually distorted this area here in order to be able to frame them you could see the door handle is actually huge you can the car in itself is not really in proportion anymore but it didn't matter to me because i just used the car as a frame to be able to frame the subjects and give it as a nice foreground to the background church so the again the hero here was a subject used everything here distorted as may be to frame them but they are not distorted that's the most important part and again you could see here that i shot in a very in a very vast space but i made sure that the subject was actually seen so i had her very very close to the camera to be honest since i was shooting ultra wide she was just about three or four feet away from me but since she was in center i didn't have any distortion with her but we got a bit of distortion here which actually worked beautifully because it led everything towards her and it made her gown a little bit bigger now here's another example of that one again we're we're in a very nice area very very big space but i kept them in the center and i made sure to shoot them close enough that you could see who they are and at the same time you could still see the entirety of the scene here's another one where distortion for me is quite acceptable you can see that the lamp here in front is actually bigger than the ones in the back though they are all really the same size in reality but again by having your subject here in the center you are actually controlling the distortion of your subject and i shot this a little bit higher to be able to actually distort this because i wanted the shape of the heart to come out though i don't think i succeeded in that or maybe i did i'm, I'm not sure and lastly here this was actually a very big space but i decided to just shoot in a certain area because i wanted this bamboo to frame them and i wanted to distort the bamboo to make it look bigger than what it really is and at the same time i shot very very close to them to make the gown bigger and let it flow towards them in other words this one is the one that leads your eye towards your subject and at the same time i had them in a very empty space and i shot a flash here I, I'm sorry, and I popped the flash here to be able to illuminate the subject, okay? So, in other words, I am not actually going to recommend a specific lens for you guys to buy, but I do recommend if you want those money shots to have at least an ultra-wide lens in your kit and learn how to use it, learn how to control the distortion, learn how to position your subjects properly so that you're not distorting them, learn how to angle your camera so that you can get a little bit of height if you want to make them look taller. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see more of my images, you can always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video.